Hey, what's going on, guys? Mark Tullius here. Thank you so much for joining me today on this sixth day in the month of metal. Today's band I'll be talking about is Biohazard. Also, just want to point out that I'm not doing this 30 days um, in order of favorite bands or anything like that. These are just different bands, heavy metal bands, or metal bands that have influenced me or my writing. Biohazard is definitely one of them. I was pretty big into them from like 92 to, I don't know, let's say like 99 or whatever. Um, they were definitely out of my normal listening range. Uh, I was never into hardcore really and not much uh, hip hop, which they combined. But the mixture of those two together, I really dug. One of my favorite songs from them, uh, or favorite albums that was a combination of those was uh, Judgment Night, the movie soundtrack. And they had a track on there, the title track, Judgment Night with Onyx. So that was 93. That was a really big one. Uh, but yeah, so I like the combination. Uh, and going through this list, I also realized I definitely like the slower songs, the longer songs. The songs were a little bit more lean towards the metal side instead of the super fast uh, punkish type uh, or the hardcore. All right. Um, as far as memories, concert memories, man, the only one I really have is uh, Providence, Rhode Island, when I saw them open up for Slayer and Machine Head open up first. Um, I really remember Machine Head. I don't really remember too much after that. Probably had a lot to do with being super trash, but I'm sure I enjoyed the show. Uh, I'm not sure if I saw them other times, uh, but again, super long time ago, so can't say too much about that. Uh, but as far as uh, albums and favorite songs, my second favorite album is Urban Discipline, which is the first one I got. I got that in 1992, so I was probably the only guy at Brown University listening to them at the time, um, I'm guessing. But I remember cranking that all the time. I used to piss off all the people around me, but I didn't really give a shit at that time. Um, so anyhow, favorite songs on that. Chamber Spins 3, the first song on there is really good. Wrong Side of the Tracks. Um, that actually inspired a song, uh, a story on here. So originally this story that I wrote was called Wrong Side of the Tracks. Um, ended up being changed to Wrong Side Tavern, but it was sparked by that song, Wrong Side of the Tracks. Has nothing to do with the song, but it was just a cool, cool title. So thank you guys for that. Uh, and then also Loss on there, really good song. I like that one a lot. Uh, State of the World Address, um, that's a Probably my third favorite album, uh, Human Animal, number one song on there, How It Is, and Tales from the Hard Side. Uh, Mataleo, uh, 1996, which also means Lion Killer, um, and the name of a jiu-jitsu chokehold, so extra cool points for that. That is my favorite album off of their authority, uh, the first song on there, uh, definitely my favorite, because I say fuck the rules over and over and over. Uh, I'm a big fan of, I've always been very anti-establishment, anti-authority. I loved, uh, yeah, I love that song. And uh, that one triggered uh, one of the latest shortest, one of the last short stories that I wrote called The Rules. Originally it was gonna be called Fuck the Rules, but um, didn't do that. Also was gonna call it Fuck Your God. Didn't do that or fuck your dog. But you have to read the short story. It's actually free to subscribers. Um, here's the cool artwork. Uh, but yeah, so hopefully you guys dig that. But that's where that came from. Um, so Authority, number one song. In Vain, number two. And Waiting to Die, number three. Uh, New World Disorder. That one I didn't care for as much. I think I'd already started not listening to them very often. Uh, but on there... Cycle of Abuse, All for None, and New World Disorder, Uncivilization. Uh, really, the only song I ever listened to is Last Man Standing. So off of Kill or Be Killed, uh, we have Never Forgive, Never Forget, number one song. The second song, Dead to Me. Uh, that inspired a short story called Dead to Me. That's an untold mayhem. Again, it's not really based off of the song, but the song inspired it. Uh, really those when i heard those lyrics uh heard the saw that title um just really clicked and so uh that's why i wrote that one the last two albums means to an end and reborn in defiance i haven't even really listened to so 
I don't know. Just wasn't a fan after their early stuff. I'm sure they're pretty good, but just not my style of music. But just want to thank them for, you know, inspiring me to write this stuff, for helping me deal with all my anger and everything else I had going on at that time. That was a pretty dark time in my life. A lot of drugs, a lot of violence. Um, that's majority of my life. But so thank you, Biohazard, for that. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. I got a bunch of stuff to do, but I will be back tomorrow. And tomorrow I am doing Slayer. I already came up with my whole set list, and I might even play a little guitar. We'll see. I'm terrible at it, but why not? All right, guys, hope you have a great one, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Later. <laughs>